I've had a few cases where people contacted me saying that they started using DMSO in a situation and things started to move and then they stopped because of the discomfort or pain. There was actually a boy who had something going on with his gut and it moved it, whatever it was, but it made the pain in accelerate while it was moving. And so they reacted and stopped, contacted me. I said, no, you mustn't stop. <laughs> You must continue the, the movement out. And he had a crazy bowel movement. He must have eaten something synthetic, something he shouldn't have eaten. It was a child that puts things in his mouth. And But we got it out of the body doing this. But you see, because they didn't know, they stop. And so the same thing with the eyes. Like I make eye drops that heal cataracts, literally heal cataracts. I mean, generally speaking, you do have to support the liver if it's like a long-standing cataract situation, right? Because that's the connecting organ. So you do always want to consider that if you have something wrong with the eye, it's not your eye just. <laughs> it's right. the organs that are related, you know, to the eye. Mm -hmm. And so I had a woman, so just with that movement thing, she had so much debris in her eye that the DMSO began to move it out. And there's the vein here. And she actually had a type of inflammation of the vein next to her eye. And she, again, was alarmed that it had happened. And she contacted me and then we informed her, you know, this is what's happening. You're mobilizing heavy calcium bits right now. And I know you're now, you have this temporal arteritis <laughs> caused from the movement, but understand this is a temporary inflammation from a deposit. And you just need to uh, apply more of the DMSO to again, grab it and move it. And it will eventually metabolize properly in the body. And that's what she did. And I've had a few of these cases as well. So that's one of the other things to be aware of with DMSO because people will say it's bad or dangerous or they'll do all kinds of things because they don't understand the mechanism of action. And they also do not understand how their bodies work and therefore they just react in fear. And so again, knowledge is power. And that's why I do so much teaching and help people understand it. That's why the book is there it is to uh, help you calm down and, and feel safe to use it, understand it and apply it correctly. And it's literally acts like miraculously when you see it in action like that, you know, it's quite profound. Ooh.